It's a new day, it's a new dawn, the sun is rising, or it has been rising, there we go, there it is, and hello once again you lovely viewers, welcome back, welcome back, it's part 15 of my Minecraft adventure, and oh boy, we've got some interesting stuff to be getting on with today, and you can see in the background there, we can see Mr. Old Murchie, just admiring the view. Sorry, pal. This mountain's already been claimed. I've got the deeds. Yeah. I'm talking to you, mate. I'm watching you as well. This mountain's mine. So don't even think about claiming it. Alright. Right. With that out of the way, let's get on with today's video then, shall we? I am going to be collecting some more materials, so that means we will eventually get to do a little bit of mining at some point. Whether or not we'll get around to it in this video, uh, we'll just have to wait and see, but you will see exactly what I mean by if we get around to it in this video. So yeah, I want to get some materials, some redstone and uh, some other metallic ores, more iron, more gold, and if we can find any diamond that would be a fantastic bonus so while we're digesting that um, and thinking about what we're doing in today's video it gives me the perfect opportunity to say that if you're new to the channel um, and you haven't seen any of my other videos give this one a like I'm still trying to achieve the target of 10 likes per video not quite managed it yet but there's still plenty of time to be getting on with that and if you want to be a supporter of the channel as well, you can subscribe to Vital Bus Solution by clicking on the usual subscription button and turning on the notifications so you don't miss out on a single thing. So it keeps you up to date with all the latest news, gossip and videos that are released in relation to the channel. So yeah, let's get on with today's video then. So you can see here... All this has been graveled off. I've been busy, busy, busy offline. So all this is now neat and tidy as far as the floor is concerned. We've got some cobblestone steps, so uh, we're not having to keep jumping up and down, which is fan -dabba -dozy. That chicken's been chilling out up there for for as long as I can remember, actually. So, hmm, I think it might like it there. Might build it a little house up there. Like a chicken shelter. A chicken sanctuary. So what I was anyway thinking, <laughs> getting sidetracked there. What I was thinking for this little bit here, I was going to make a nice little water fountain that will pour out of the wall somewhere. And, and it will pour down inside this little container here. Well, it will be a container of some sort. A nice little fountain feature, which is lovely. Let's think what else I've been doing offline. Um, yes, of course. Across here, we have more work, more construction done to this uh, medieval building. I'm sure, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be. What is it with chickens? They're bloody everywhere. Go on, shoo. So I'll have a quick sneaky peep up here just to show you what I've been up to. It's still ongoing it's just an empty shell we need some glass just to fill in a few panes a few bays a few areas and it's the same up here as well but the floor's down which is the good part that's uh, always an important thing in any house uh got to finish the floor off as well have i got any wood yeah i've got a bit of wood so we can do that right now there we go we don't want any accidents, nobody falling through, hurting themselves. Health and safety conscious me. There we go. You always got to think one step ahead. So yeah, I'm, I'm still slowly chipping away at this building. Probably in the next video or two, it'll be completed. So that can be another thing ticked off our uh, very enormous, gigantic list. And also, there's another little treat left for you guys. I've uh, started building the framework for this automated cobblestone generating factory. Because I did say I want to contain all this inside a building of some sort so it doesn't look 
out of place with the rest of the theme of this village stroke town. Oh yeah, also I've built and a little fishing hut here because what I'm thinking of doing while I'm going on to the automated side of things I'm just going to see what else I can uh, make with uh, hoppers and redstone and other fascinating contraptions that you can do with this game so this is going to be like an, some sort of automatic fishing farm if I can get it to work um, at the moment I've just done the building the still got to figure out how I'm going to do the contraption but that will come in time that will come in time what I want to get to in this video today is I've already stated at the beginning of the episode that we are looking at doing some mining and I remember there was this interesting cool looking ravine right here and it's practically on the doorstep of my town village whatever it is so I was thinking actually we've got the the potential for mining resources and materials is uh, it looks quite promising down there so what I'm actually thinking of doing I've got a couple of stacks cobblestone stairs and some cobblestone why not make a path that leads down into the ravine and who knows you can see in the distance there it disappears into some sort of underground cave system so maybe this could be away to somewhere possibly in the distant future in this minecraft series and you walk up these steps up here to an entrance which to be fair this is going to be close to where the boundary wall is we could build another redstone gateway perhaps with the cobblestone stairs leading down into this cool looking ravine i mean that's just <sighs> mind-blowing stuff again this this place just keeps on giving this map just keeps on giving guys so anyway let's let's crack on with this uh, build then because we need to actually build some stairs so we can get down to the, the base of this ravine safely um this may take a little while actually i don't really want to fall down if i can help it <clears throat> that will be disastrous uh, because I probably would take quite a hard hit, which won't be good. But what I'll do, we'll keep, we'll keep going down as far as we can. Right, like so. And uh, I have brought a bed with me as well, so if it does get dark, I can just place the bed down and we can go to sleep. So that's uh, good. That's forward thinking for you there. Don't get used to it either. I'm not normally this organised. No. I think I'm being a little bit generous to myself there. But we'll we'll keep plugging away at this and see if we can get to the bottom. Or at the very least, we'll uh we'll get there in a few seconds. I told you I'd uh, probably end up falling down. Uh this is probably a dangerous spot actually to be in. Although I actually found some iron, so while we're here, we might as well grab this iron. Because we're going to need plenty of resources. There's some gravel here as well, so that's good. So maybe that was a happy accident that we've fallen down here to begin with. Probably going to need some coal as well, so we can light some torches. So that mobs don't spawn. That would be a massive headache. Uh, ooh. So there you go. You wanted a bit of mining, and hey, guess what? Wish granted. We have a bit of mining. How dark is it getting? Let's place this bed down, see if we can sleep. Look at that. Nice and cosy, all tucked inside. Ready for a new day. Let's pick our bed up. There we go. Right. Fortunately, in case I do slip up and fall down... I've brought with me a few stacks of dirt, which probably, to be fair, I probably should have done this to begin with. Um, and then all I have to do now, build my way down and just keep moving this nerd pole. Well, it, it, essentially, it is a nerd pole. It's, uh, it's the noob way of going up. Instead of using ladders or bamboo 
found a uh, well, they, well, no, they're like it's like bamboo scaffolding, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Burr. Should know that by now. I'm playing this game long enough. Right. This may be a bit of a pain in the backside. So before we move any further forward, what I'd like to do, um, this may be a problem. Let's get some torches built. Because the last thing I want to be doing is mobs spawning in any possible areas. So let's light this whole place up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Let's grab some more coal. The rest of this stuff, like the gravel, etc., etc., we, we can get later on. It doesn't really matter right now. It's about getting this, um, this path built so that we have a safe passage down. Uh, which way? I think it's this one. Yeah, we need to dig this way. So I'll carry on digging this way for a little bit and we'll do a little bit of talking what are we going to talk about you ask well let me tell you guys finally and i say this rather passionately and enthusiastically finally the santa's workshop parts one and two are finally out on my channel so if you haven't yet seen those videos and you're quite into your building and your tutorials from your favourite YouTubers. I'm not saying that I am, but I'd like to think that um, uh, I'm respected at least. Go and uh, go and check it out. What I'll do, um, instead of leaving a link for the next part, which will be part 16 when I do get round to doing it, I, but first I'd have to record the episode first before I can actually uh, post a link up uh, at the end of this video. So instead what I'll do, I'll do the Santa's workshop link so then you can click straight onto that video after this one is finished and you can see what i've been getting up to but it's it's a tutorial build i am thoroughly enjoying at the moment and part three will be out tomorrow because i'm trying to mix everything up a bit rather than just doing everything released in one go it's not really how i like to post up my videos i like to have a bit of everything for everybody oh there's a bit of a bit of coal there should we dig this bit up we might as well we don't want this going to waste do we so there we go there we go right okay let's carry on with this path down it's quite a um it's quite a descend actually isn't it when you look at it because we're not even near the bottom yet look at that got a long way to go a long way to go but if we can at least get our ourselves down to an area and then we can probably jump up and down while we do a bit of mining i can most certainly live with that and then i can always finish the path off um off camera which is what I do with a lot of things, because I'm sure you don't want to be seeing an episode of me just building a stairway down. And that's it. Makes good uh, entertainment, that does. I'm sure it does. And that you're thinking, am I being sarcastic there? Well, no, but <laughs> at the same time, I'm not, I'm not being serious either. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there, guys. Just... Bear with me. I can hear a zombie. That's reassuring. This is buried in the wall somewhere, yeah. I think we're alright. I think we're okay. Right, we're almost there. Well, he says. Keep dropping further down. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Should we seal this off? You know what? Let's put a torch in there. There we go. Stop mob spawning. Oh, and we're still going down. I'm going to have to draw the line here at some point. So that we can actually do some mining and a little bit of exploring. Because I'm sure you guys are, uh, are itching to see what's down here. And you know what? So am I. But 
I want to make sure I can get back up. So we're there, are we? Okay. Let's fill this up. Tell you what, let's fill this up. Three. Um, and then what? Got some stairs there. That's wrong. Fail. There we go. I think that'll do because I'm checking the time here and I don't want it to roll too long into this uh, episode but at the same time I don't want to be wasting my time just placing steps down but I just can't help myself I just have to keep finishing it off I'm sorry guys this is just ah frustrating I hate it when it does that right dig that block up there we go right let's seal this off there we go. Right. I think that is a suitable stairway down. We'll just place some torches here and there just to light the place up a little bit. Um, I think we can actually make some more torches. There we go. Yeah. Make some more torches. So we've got plenty of torches to light the way. Even though we actually got some lava down there. Oh, there's some more iron, iron ore along here. So we'll keep using that. Don't worry, I have brought an iron pickaxe with me just in case we do stumble across any diamonds or uh, or anything else that requires an iron pickaxe. Right. Let's place some dirt here so that we've got a little bit of a path going up. There we go. Uh, blah, blah. There we go. I've also brought some wood with me as well, so I can actually make a crafting table should I need to make any more pickaxes, any stone ones. I don't want to be using the iron one and wasting its uh, durability, because that'll be a waste. Right, okay, we're down. We're down. Let's go exploring, guys. Okay. So we've got lava here. Some vines, which are quite useful to get back up again I uh, just want to be a bit careful that I don't run into that yeah beautifully done oh what's that down there there's something that leads off into that direction over there let's get some torches down here so I've got a funny feeling there may be something lurking around in the depths there is yeah there's a creeper there's a freaking creeper Ah, can't get to me though. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. It just keeps going down. To be fair, I thought we'd hit the level here, but actually, this just keeps going on. Oh my gosh, guys, just look at that. Go on, drop to your death. Wow, this ravine is awesome. We're definitely going to find plenty of materials and resources down here when not going to get bored at all you know what while we think about it because i can see there's plenty of iron iron ore lying around dotted around here and there let's just light this place up so we've got it all nice and secure and i think oh should we go exploring down here place a torch there can't see anything might be a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end. But that's fine, you know. That's what we're here to do. We're here to explore. We're here to push the boundaries. Explore a new frontier. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Oh, gosh, look at this iron. There's tons of iron down here. Absolutely loaded with the stuff, guys. That's brilliant. And it's getting dark again. My, how time flies when you're having fun. So, stick this coal up. Wait for it to get dark. I can hear someone grumbling. Can't be too far away. 
Ooh, there we go. Right, plonk a torch there. There we go. Jobs are good in. Right, bed. Place bed. Sleep. Nice and toasty. With a nice little lava pit line next to us. It's a good job that this is Minecraft, because if that were in real life, I don't think I'd be placing my bed anywhere near there. Right. Okay. I think what we're going to do... I think we'll call it quits here for part 15. And in the next video, I think we'll uh, we'll have an episode of just mining all this uh, this stuff down here. What do you think? Should we have a mining episode? Yeah. Maybe I'll get a water bucket and we'll go and explore that other ravine where it goes deeper down there. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's a plan and a half. Let's uh, let's jump up, and run back up here, and say what we need to say before we uh, we clock off for another episode. So yeah, that's uh, that's quite an interesting place down there. That ravine, it it really is something. Um, definitely going to incorporate that somehow into this build over here. I don't know how, but then again, I've got plenty of time to think about it. But yeah, we'll do some mining in the next video and uh, we'll tot up what we've managed to pick up. So, And I'm sure somewhere down in that deep, dark ravine where it drops further down, there's got to be some diamonds and I can see some redstone as well. So we're, hopefully we've hit a, a rich ore vein of all supplies. It'd be nice to think that, wouldn't it? But anyway getting a little bit sidetracked and carried away there if you have enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to see more please please hit that like button i am trying to reach 10 likes that's the target for each video so please help this channel out share the video out recommend it to your friends do what you have to do get it out there let's boom this series i'm really pushing for this series to be put out there at some point i need to actually do some live streaming um, which will probably help you guys and help me out as well. Uh, it will probably make for better content as well. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. That's Vital Buzz Solution by clicking on the subscription button, turning on the notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos that I post on my channel. Also, I am on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. That's all at Vital Bus Solution if you want to keep up with all the latest news and gossip related to my channel. All that is left for me to now say is, ladies and gentlemen, once again is thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. And I shall look forward to seeing you in the next part and instalment of my Minecraft adventure. You take care, guys. And don't forget, as always, keep buzzing.